Good morning, everybody. Hey, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. All right. So we're off to a great start with The Good Place Season 3. Um, I really enjoyed the inclusion of a uh, Chidi's girlfriend, Simone. Simone is great. I, I, I really like Simone. I, I think it's a really interesting addition to the cast. Also, it's not giving us necessarily what we want so far. I think, um, obviously, he and Eleanor both have very strong chemistry. Sure. And we're kind of... I'm kind of expecting them to to have some sort of romance eventually, um, but until then, I like this inclusion of Simone because it kind of subverts expectations. Sure, and you know, honestly, I'd be okay if they didn't. Yeah. You know, whenever you have characters on a really strong arc, especially in this show where mm-hmm. everyone's trying to grow and to be better people, I think it's okay if they have romantic tension early. But as they grow and develop, they don't later on. Yes, we saw that. In a very satisfying way in Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, right? And New Girl. And New Girl, right? Yeah. We, we we had this chemistry early, but it was an immature kind of chemistry where, where we weren't the people we wanted to be yet. And the farther we get along into being becoming those people, maybe that chemistry is better in ter- a different kind of relationship, right? Say that. Friendship, f- familial relationship, mm-hmm. more more than romantic. And it's... And they may still be in empathy together. I could be wrong. But I would totally be okay if they did. It's just too easy if they do it so far. If they do it now. You know what I mean? Like, if, if they just had them be together, season three and season four, it's like, all right, well, that was kind of a payoff. But at the same time, yeah. it works better if they save it. Also, if it is too obvious, it's too obvious. I mean, if you're supposed to be like, oh, will they, won't they? There's there's something to that, right? There's a certain allure to that. Well, this is definitely a show that doesn't lean into too obvious ever no um, which, uh, which is really fantastic about it. it's one of the reasons it makes it work right it's always keeps you on your feet um and i agree with you i, I think it would be too much of a of a, of a sitcom trope mm-hmm. for them to get together and be like this couple trying to get through this thing for two or three seasons yeah i'm really glad that's not the route they went um they planted the seed early mm-hmm. of possibility there were times it happened you know in different uh, alternative alternative universes exactly but i it, I would say there's a pretty reasonable chance that it does happen and an equally reasonable chance it doesn't. And if it doesn't, it's like, well, at least it did happen in some universe. You sure. know what I mean? Like, it, it happened in the past, whatever. We're friends. You know, but I'm fine with that, too. I'm fine with whatever this show throws my way because whatever they have thrown so far has been so satisfying. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Yeah. yeah they're, I, I don't think that they're ever meandering on this show. You I have know, no we, notes. <laughs> we, right. We, we watch other shows where it's like, man, the writers are really just trying to fill the time yeah. during this season or, or you know, to, to get from point A to the finale of sure. point C and getting and everything in the middle is muddy um but this is not that show and it's not like with crazy ex-girlfriend crazy ex-girlfriend is a very very great show and it's like um there's a lot of uh, moments in that show where you're kind of pulling your hair out going why why are you doing this yeah for sure this show does not make us feel that way right um but they're equally you know unpredictable sure absolutely so all right we do want to go ahead and thank all of our patreon subscribers for being here where you have a special shout out to it's a bird it's a plane it's a superman subscribers actuarial lurker balas foldes chris jeff nj and suri gundavarapu thank you so much guys we are very happy here with us yes we are and if you guys are watching watching us on youtube for the first time welcome to our channel if you mind hitting the like button for us, leave us a comment down below, and please hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. If you'd like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or are currently watching, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page. On every show, including The Good Place, we're at least four episodes ahead on Patreon of where, we're, where we are on YouTube, so if you want to keep going after watching this on YouTube, that's the place to do it. You will have to sync and watch along on your own source material. You will only see and hear us for copyright purposes. Mm-hmm. We are also wrapping up Season 2 right now of 30 Rock as a Patreon exclusive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm Michael, sure they aired at the same night. a demon has infiltrated yeah, yeah, the group. Yeah. Not just any demon. Trevor is a oh, yeah, Trevor's back. Might yes, just be is. the single most dangerous creature in the universe. <laughs> Who wants Trevor? lemon bars? Must be Eleanor, the reason this is all happening. I am. How long until she sees through him? We're doing a long hug. It's a long hug, yeah. <laughs> Are you crying? Sorry. I'm just so happy to be here. That's great acting. Uh, Adam Scott is so good in so everything. Good. I'm not sure what he's been in recently, if he's on a show, but I love him. Yeah. Eleanor, do I have no the right phone number for you? You haven't responded to any of the dank memes I've sent. Should we get started, maybe? Oh, Mrs. She Teacher, for my yeah. turn, is there any way to get, like, extra radiation? Do you think taking a spider in an MRI machine will give you superpowers? Hey, it might work. He already bit me a bunch of times and gave me the power to swallow up my hand. What are you doing, Trevor? Sean hacked the judge's system and we caught you cheating. 
There's no way I'll get one of these bozos to drop out of an unpaid, rigorous academic study. Right, they've all seen you already, so you can't show your face to them again, so you're powerless to stop me. Do you think maybe we could continue the one-on-one -on -one lessons on the side? Between the new project and my classes, I won't have yeah. time, but this is way better. You're up for a segue tour of Australia, mate. This is oh a night on the bar bay. Oh. <laughs> he really is the worst. He's leaning into it. I know the perfect place for homesick Americans. You need sweatshirts. You get a sweatshirt. You get a sweatshirt. You I get, get a sweatshirt. sweatshirt. The brainy bunch. <laughs> I'm Janet. Oh. I'll be taking care of you tonight. Nice. Interesting. So I will be here all night watching everything that you order. <laughs> Should we go somewhere else? <laughs> right. Our, our server's intense. <laughs> How's it going? Not good, Michael. I don't have my powers. I can't summon things. Dictionary. Spaghetti. Focus on the mission. We have to get Trevor away from the humans. I just assumed you would think it's unprofessional to be friends with the subjects of your study. No, I never thought that. I mean, I, I kind of do now. He is the worst. Yeah. I'll try. And here is yours. Oh, no. Oh. I guess you should go to the bathroom or maybe go home and never come back. We just take Trevor out. I don't know if he could die, but I could drop a steamroller on his head. Ah, oh, darn it. I can't summon things. You stay up, Trevor. Keep interfering with his plan, all right? I'm gonna do my librarian act and much cheating. Trevor's <laughs> right. I might skew the study by fraternizing with the subjects. We can be colleagues. Kinda thought that before everyone else showed up, you and I were, like, becoming actual friends. Oh, no! Well, maybe I can help. You know what I like to do in situations like these? I haven't told you anything about what I'm going through. Um, there's only room again. for one male subject in an academic study, so keep the one who got there first. I mean, Tahani is eh, but Jason, woof, and Trevor, ugh. They're not the reason I flew all the way from Arizona. You could put your head up your own butt. What? Yeah. What? what? I like putting my hands in the toilet so everything I touch gets a little bit of poop on it. Hey, you guys see what I did out there? This was too easy. Gonna take a lot more than that to break up this group. Why don't you give up, Trevor? Don't shake it, don't shake it. No, he's had his hand in the toilet. Ah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and this ethical question of friendship with the subjects is weighing on me. I have been waiting my entire career for the right thesis, and I am not going to blow it. Withdrawing from them? It influencing it just the same? Yeah. Sorry. Jason was a perfect gentleman last night. Thank you so much for getting me home safely. And it was super fun getting to know you. You're the fanciest person I know. It seemed like she was having second thoughts about being part of the Brainy Bunch, so. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Hey, do you think I should? Yeah, then I already called you a car because you should not drive. It's outside. Thanks. He's been up all night. Yeah. He spelled Plato wrong. Did you know, catch that? Also, yeah. <laughs> Are you coming to class? Hey, I just don't think the group thing is for me. I'm better when it's one on one. Please, could you give me three months? Can you give me three months? I am. I am asking you as a friend. Fine. Yeah. You did good at talking. <laughs> I like the picture. <laughs> We're gonna get them eventually. I'll just keep chipping away till one of them bails. Oh, cool. You're all together. The judge wants to see you. Crap. Well, right now. Um, like all of us, or? Yep. I like the doorman a lot. Yeah, I do too. The frog lover. Michael, how many times did I say you could go down to Earth? Actually, you weren't 100% explicit. One time. Now, granted, I also tricked the doorman and snuck down to Earth, but what are we gonna do? <laughs> Your experiment it's with the humans fault. is over. Are you gonna kill them? No. But starting now, there is no more monitoring them. And right now, the two of you are going back to the bad place. But they'll retire Michael, and I'll be marbleized. Well, maybe you should have thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Let's go. Right now. Earth, we get some frogs. Good oh. luck, frog man. Pulling for you. That was really nice. 
They escaped. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> I don't know why Jeff is funny, but it is. It's the fact that they all have like this pretty mundane names, yeah. Like John, Jeff. You know, it's great. I like the stakes higher now. Yeah. I I was thinking that. I was like, I wonder is there a way they can they can go to Earth? Whatever she was saying, like Michael's gonna get retired. Yeah. So they're escaping Earth. Cool. I wonder if the judge makes her way out there to try to find them. You know, or if they're like on the run on Earth or something. I don't know. Well, I, it, it's I don't think so because they took the key with them. They did, didn't they? Yeah. So, so, the, so like, yeah. yeah. So the, the the doorman was able to find him and come out because he had his key. But yeah, now he may that's, not. It's a fantastic point, actually. Because remember, they wouldn't let him touch it mm -hmm. before. Now he's like, take the key. Well, all bets are off, but we do have stakes now because we know that if he changes too many things, I mean, it's just gonna ripple. Yeah, there's there's consequences. Obviously, real ones. The the that's that vote was pretty funny. That is hilarious. Uh, the, the Jaguars did for like one year when Bortles was our quarterback get good. Um, then not again, obviously. Yeah. I mean, Bortles, very much out of football. Yeah. Tough beat, guys. Uh, but yeah, that was really solid. I, I didn't get the Weather Channel joke, did you? I did not either. Okay. And the Hugh Jackman thing we kind of missed, but something Hugh Jackman did make for $100 million. I, I don't know what it was. Uh, it's Hugh Jackman, probably everything. He's so talented. That's right. And Australian. <laughs> I'm sure it was one of his musicals. Probably. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, okay. So I don't know what this means if if, if Trevor is going to be in the next episode. Probably not. Looks like he, he yeah was he was he was looked away. Yeah, he well, he didn't go back through the door. So I, I I'm, I'm sure Adam Scott. I mean, he's had several sitcoms, um, kind of start non-starters a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I remember he he's he was busy. In, he was in something with Craig Robertson. Yeah, I, I've seen that on Hulu. I never watched it. I, 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 they really really marketed it well, mm -hmm. and then it just disappeared. Right. So he, yeah. So he was he had his own career going on. Yeah. Uh, for a second there, I thought he was going to be like a, a regular in this season. That'd have been really cool. It would have been cool because he was so annoying in this episode. He was so annoying, but so enjoyable. Yeah, the sweatshirts were a great touch. If I can find one of those sweatshirts, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you can buy them online. Um, but yeah, and, Brady Bunch. <laughs> I was trying to read at the back of it said I didn't catch the back. Yeah, and um, I don't know. I I just I'm really enjoying the dynamic of them being just human again. Like this guy yeah, on Earth. For sure. And I don't know where you go from there. I mean, so they're not. There's, I don't know if they're going to die again and end up in the afterlife. Or right. They, just, they get a second chance. Something has to happen to where they're not just living their lives out. Right. Yeah. Um, I can't see that being the, the carry through for the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is, but I'd be really stunned if that's the case. Yeah. Um. So there's going to be some type of change. Maybe the maybe Michael and and uh, Janet running. Makes makes the judge change the plan there. It's like does uh, that have who knows? Does right? that mean that Michael and Janet just live out their lives as humans too? Like I I don't I don't know. Like there's so many possibilities. Yeah. They do have this key to the to. universe, yeah. so it's like I doubt it. Right? Yeah. I, I, this is not a show that that is going to take one track and run with it for two years. Yeah. Um. So there there's no way that these six people on Earth is the show for they me. could end up in space. Oh, yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. They, <laughs> they'll that's their opposite. They'll end up in the good place, the bad place, the medium place, or in you know. Uh, an office, Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah. a death office somewhere yeah. um, at some point. But yeah, there's definitely no way that this is kind of the setup for for the remainder of the run. It's, there's a 0% chance of that. Um, and just shout out to them for keeping so much mystery for three seasons now. That That's the beauty of it. It's unpredictable, right? Yeah. Because all you can say at the end of this episode is, well, now what? Now, yes. now, now they're living out their lives to see if they can die some other time of, you know, down the road whenever they're just going to die. And yeah. do they make it or not? And obviously we're not just going to go with that. So we're well, how do they change it up? Well into season three and every single episode has been a cliffhanger. <laughs> that's <laughs> you know, amazing. Yeah, it's just great writing all the way around. All right, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. See ya.